Hi folks, welcome to or welcome back to Expose and if I'm welcoming you back and you like it here I'd love it if you subbed and stayed. Got nothing ready for tonight for Lisa, I was waiting for her to upload something and she didn't. I had this in my watch later pile. Just to remind you all, if there is any old videos of Lisa's that you think I should do, either drop me a link in a comment under a video or email me at chat to exposed at, EO, EO, at aol.com and i'll add it to the list and then i'll get around to doing it at some point but just know that anyone that's uh recommended anything it's either been done or it's in the list to be do be dude you can tell it's early in the morning where are we 8 24 far too early for me this is the home tour rh cloud couch jonathan adler art dining room and i just wanted to see because i don't think i watched this one i wanted to see what she said about her upstairs empire and how it was going to be used and then we see exactly what she didn't do with it shall we jump in so we're going upstairs first because there is a bunch of action going on downstairs i will show you in a minute but will is on the sofa watching tv so thought i would start how very dare will be on the sofa watching tv in his home when you have all this up here to to work in or up here look who is this who is this is it mommy's biggest boy he doesn't like the camera usually if he sees me get the camera out he will look away <laughs> okay so we're coming upstairs i value your opinion and i want to hear it but in like a friend would talk to a friend and i need you guys to give me some time before you judge the things that i'm doing let me and tracy who is helping me let me finish these things and then we can see if i want to tweak anything and did you hear the emphasis i want to tweak anything there could be something in the background that's giving someone epileptic fits. But if she doesn't want to change it, she won't. Just know. We'll go from there. So the deal with me showing you this stuff today is please just know that I have things ordered. She got 163 thumbs down on this. And this was just... If there was a still actually a thumbs down thing and people saw that people were doing that, they probably would have added to it as well. But most people think, oh, there's no point. They don't see it. We do. We do see it. I see that on there because I've got uh, an add-on in Chrome. If you've got Chrome, it's an extension. Hang on, what's it called? Where is it? Oh, return YouTube dislike. And uh, I've got that and it's so I can see how many people have disliked my videos without me having to go into all the analytics and ask for about to look for it. But yeah, if you want to see how many dislikes people have got, you can, if you've got Chrome, you can do that. And things are going to change. But I, today I just wanted to show you a few new things. I'm out of breath because I'll show you <laughs> when we get downstairs, we've been having to work on something else. Okay, so here is the out of breath from nothing does that not tell you that maybe you need to exercise a bit i know i do but i can't believe me if i could move i'd be moving studio part of my upstairs my this upstairs. is something i want to change the litter box is over here which i mean i can't do much about that but this whole section over here is being used for their cat food and I just ordered two more of the pedestal cat bowls because everybody wants that bowl. So I'm getting ready to have three matching bowls and I don't have anything in this closet back there so far. So I am probably going to, I don't want to swing you around too fast, but I'm probably for the meantime. Going if you're not using it, why don't you leave that for the cats? Have their litter tray in there and their food in there and a bed maybe or whatever and leave it for the cats to use so then you're not tripping over food bowls. 
Why their food isn't downstairs is beyond me, but anyway. I'm going to start putting some of this stuff that will fit in that closet. This is just a menagerie of things that I may or may not use. I just got this lamp at a resale shop and I think it is so like Vegas fabulous. Look at the, um, the beading and then the acrylic on the top and bottom. I just think it is so. And the boxes and boxes of cameras and lights and things that she's tweaked and changed nine million times and got John to rearrange and do and rearrange and do and rearrange and she's never happy with it. Lisa, can you not just understand that's how you look and just go with it? Cool. So hopefully going to use that somewhere. And that's what I recommend doing is when, even when you're decorating, grab pieces that you like, even if you don't know where you're going to put them. That's what I recommend. You know nothing about fucking decorating. You've got no right to recommend anything. So... And then that is some fragrance that I'm going to show you and tell you about soon. That is some camera equipment and lighting. That Those are some decorating books and some journals. That is some different little art pieces. And that over there is my watch winder. So you guys remember this picture? When Brooke and I went downtown to a resale shop. Brooke took yeah, when Brooke and I went downtown to a resale shop and Brooke took a picture of me, 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 me. And I kept the picture, but I didn't take one of Brooke, of course, no. Is she saying that big black lump is a watch winder? How many watches does she need winding? It looks like a huge footrest for two. First, you guys remember this picture? When Brooke and I went downtown to a resale shop, Brooke took that picture. I had extensions in, but that was good times because... Brooke and I were staying at the beach together and it was when she was younger and we would actually hang out with me. And then that's the artwork I had. Which would be most people would have a photo of their child and say, oh, this brings back really good memories of when they were little and we did things together. Not a picture of you, you narcissistic knock. In my other house, that is a long time ago when I got featured in like a local. Me, 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 me. Where are the pictures of her animals or her family that most people would have? Or even if this is going to be her recording studio, okay, her YouTube plaque and stuff like that. But no, it's all pictures of Lisa. Well, ah, a local like magazine type thing About for jeans. fashion. Boyfriend jeans, I believe those were the Corey. And tripods you should remember because they were your favorite jeans that you had pictures taken in i haven't had to use any lights here and then this is an older lamp that i've always loved and then this is my porch my it's a beautiful day they are just now starting to work on this house that's in the green again evidently there's a shortage of windows so a lot of houses have just been sitting out here not you know getting anything done mm. this is actually the house in front of it it's actually their garage and guest house and this is where i sit to do my so you've got a great view of your neighbor's garage when you sit out on your porch great my videos and that's my new plant my chefalera and some artwork that you guys have seen before your lips. i did put the mirror <laughs> i'll go ahead and Get my outfit of the day over with. I brought out my mother Tomcat jeans. I love these jeans. And then this is a bodysuit from, I can't remember, I'll have to put it below. It's the one that Lydia Millen always talks about. And then a Skims bra. And then, da 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 da. That is my new artwork and I'm going to get, I have pillows, a blanket, a little table, and lots of stuff ordered for that. And these are Jonathan Adler. They are hand beaded, I believe in India. And they're beautiful. I don't know if you'll be able to see like how pretty. Yeah, and I bet Jonathan Adler pays 
all his little beading ladies in India an absolute fortune to do that for him considering how much he probably charges for them I dare say Kate <clears throat> madam is into doing a uh, diamond painting she could do something like that see my eyesight's crap if one of them little beads went tinking off somewhere I'd never find it Pretty the beading is in this picture. And so I ordered straight from the website and then I got the Little Love Seat Boucle Gwyneth from CB2. Okay, and now we're gonna pan over. This is one of the things I got at Restoration Hardware. It is just a black velvet ottoman. I'm not sure what we're gonna do. I think we're trying to do two chairs and something else there but for the meantime i just put that here and the cats love it so here's a thought lisa why don't you go up into the area that you suggested you needed for your empire to do your recording in yada 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 and use it for a month and work out what you want the say the space for Right, I want to edit in there. I want to do my outfit of the day here. I want to do my fashion videos there. I want to do that there. I can store this in here, blah, blah, blah. And then furnish it. You're furnishing it before you know what you were, you're even doing in there. What you really should have done was when you knew you were buying that place was have the measurements and work it out before you move. Where does the light come from? Which would be the best place to film in? Where could I store all this stuff? Where could I store all that? Where do I need my computer equipment? Where do I store my lights when I'm not using them? But no, because that would take fucking time and effort and you just want someone else to do it for you. So it is, I just put that Barefoot Dreams blanket on it because keeping the cat hair off is crazy. So you put a hundred pound blanket on the top for the cats to scratch instead. Maybe get cat beds. Is that not telling you something? But cats won't pick velvet. So that's a good point. We'll so this wall is, we don't know what we're gonna do here yet. And then this See? wall. She had all this time. She knew that she needed stuff for the walls and she, what? You bet your ass, if I was moving, I would have everything planned to the nth degree. I won't be waiting to get in there and then go, mm, I don't know, what do I want in here? Why can't you just do floor plans? Even if you just do it in your journal, drawing things, fuck's sake. And a whole bathroom there going to waste, I could have that. I'll try not to make you dizzy. I've got a long, kind of a glam looking white linen credenza ordered to go there. And then we'll, you know, style up that wall and that will give me storage for a lot of my camera equipment. And I am in need of book storage. Okay, so now, oh, this is just so friggin' annoying. Right, you're buying a credenza to store your camera equipment in when you've got a closet that you're not using. How about make that a tech closet? Move the cats downstairs. Have their food inside the back door when no one's tripping over it. What's in there, in that little door? What's in the closet in that bedroom? She knocked it. This woman couldn't organize a piss up in a brewery. This is my office. This is also in the works, but so far you guys have seen, this was what used to be downstairs at my old house in the dining room. I think it's from West Elm. So I put my things here <laughs> my, my, my. and my little office. This is my old dining room table. And I'd actually ordered another table for a desk and it just, you know, was going to take so long we decided to use this and i am so thankful i love it and i just think i like it even more than what i was going to order and then that's a little storage room 
And then this is the sofa from... That's a little storage room. How about you use it for storage then instead of buying a credenza for storage when you've got umpteen places to store things? Downstairs. And this is a rug that my parents bought and gave to me because they weren't using it. This lamp is from, I think it's from West Elm. And then you guys remember Bridget and Bruce. John just hung those for me today. And that is just a little tip of working with someone like Tracy is she told us exactly how high to hang those, how far to put them apart. And you know, she's just really with it when it comes to stuff like that. The same thing with these, because these are very heavy and you have to put screws in the wall and there's wow. you know two, places on the back of each one so you know we had to be careful and hang them exactly right and then on this wall one of you wonderful you make it sound like you and john have just got out of college and this is your first apartment together and you've got no clue mom can i microwave eggs no it's like my cousin Michael when he moved out. Mom, can you do fish fingers in the oven or do you have to do them on the grill? It's like, do you know what I mean? That's what she sounds like. Oh, Tracy told us that we have to be really careful and measure things and whatever. girls suggested a, I guess it would be called a bookcase, but it's more than a bookcase. It's really modern and artsy looking that I'm getting to go on that wall. And that way I can put the router and stuff and just dress up this wall. A lot of people ask me about my acrylic chairs. I actually found those at Home Goods a couple of years ago and I love them. Then, you know, this goes through, you've seen everything, but that is... See, count people. This is a closet she keeps clothes in. Then she's got the shining closet. Then she's got the closet downstairs off of the bathroom. Then she hangs some of her stuff in John's closet. Just just count it all up. All those of you who say she doesn't keep everything, she keeps most of it. And it's all squirreled away somewhere. And then she forgets about it. A little <laughs> peek at what I have in my closet. I don't want to show you everything because some stuff is for videos coming up. Videos. I still haven't taken a shower in here and Honestly, I think this is one of the prettiest bathrooms, even though it's small. And you guys have seen all that stuff. And so Spoiled. that is pretty much the upstairs. Okay, but I would take you into the laundry room. Right. Our this shades is... that we chose are like- This is what I was saying the other day, right? When she was saying, oh, I just hang it on the back of a chair. Right, when she's walking through to the laundry room, look on the right. That's where you hang your coats and put your shoes when you're going out the door and when you come back in the door. But does she use that? No. She just flounces her stuff they wherever she feels. Home goods a couple of years ago, and I love them. Honestly, I think this is one of the prettiest bathrooms, even though it's small. And you guys have seen all that stuff. And so that is pretty much the upstairs. Okay. But I would take you in there to the right that's what that's for you sit on it you put your shoes on and you go out the door you hang your coats there that's what it's for but she comes in there walks past that and hangs a coat on the chair into the laundry room our shades that we chose are like a linen I can't remember what this style is called I can't remember but it's neat we can take them up from the bottom or the top and when they go all the way up they scrunch down really really thin like you don't have anything on the windows and that was the key to these my old old dryer but my new <laughs> washing machine we haven't gotten the matching dryer yet because of the pandemic and just the way things are got a tumble dryer because people are dying oh how very inconvenient and then this is the basket that i love so much from walmart i've been using that for towels just towels dirty clothes and then that is an old my mom bought those at a i think it was an estate sale it's real tulip baskets from holland i have two of them and here's wow. nene 
And then that rug grip just came. I have ordered two rugs. Nene needs to be put on a diet, as do the other two. You are killing those cats with kindness, Lisa. Measure their food, feed them one at a time, and make sure that she isn't eating everybody's dinner. Rugs that Tracy picked out to go. You guys have seen my dining room in the, the kitchen dining room is just basically a mess right now because those nightstands were our old nightstands, but we just got two new ones. So we're gonna either give those away or I don't know, save them for Brooke or something. Repurpose them. I went out and I bought storage. Um, hello. Could that not store all your camera equipment? Fucking woman. We see wow. you. We uh, see you. Okay, and you guys have seen. I'd spend all day talking to Chanel. I'd love a vocal cat like that. I really would. I think our bar stools. And let's yeah. mosey on over here to the table. And this, yet again, is another thing that is... Yeah, another mirror. How many mirrors does a narcissist need? It's wonderful about working with a decorator is I wanted to use that white horse, but I didn't know how really. And she literally told me, go get a tray, go get a plant, not a small plant, a big one. And then get, you know, she just told me every single thing. And it just came together beautifully. She actually recommended that candle too. And then remember when I told you about the mirror, my plan was to put the mirror here, but she suggested that I put that table that I had that I almost gave away over here with my beloved tiger and my snake lamps. And Tracy hasn't got a clue, has she? And then those are the poofs from my Walmart haul. And then this is a, I believe it's a joke. Right, why would you have a table? and poofs inside the door don't the poofs need to be in the sitting room part so that when you have all your guests over <clears throat> you've got poofs for the little ones to sit on you know at christmas when everyone's bringing out the fucking old space hopper and god knows what to sit around the christmas table because you haven't got enough chairs that's what they're for what does, what is the point of them being at the front door Again, I say, piss up, brewery. No Malone candle that Barbara, the, my Chanel girl, sent me to thank me. And then some pretty books thank you that I love. That. And you guys remember him. So I think that's just like basic. Why could you not say the candle was a gift from a nice friend or whatever? To thank me? For what? What do you actually do? all the stuff from my old house and then here are the chairs from the restoration hardware outlet and our table and it does seat six we just have five chairs we're, like I said we were going to order another one we might get an accent chair we might not worry about it because when my family comes over between this area and the counter and the dining room we will have enough seating and then Tracy's idea was to put the mirror here. So that is what we did. And I love it. It doesn't look half as big. Once so now she's got one there and one where the tiger is and another one in her room. And Do you know what I mean? It's like, what? We have a mirror at our front door and it was put there so you could check was your hair straight? Were you tucked in? Do you know what I mean? It's just like a quick last look as you go out the door to make sure you don't look like a tramp. Other than that, I've got a mirror over there because it's a jewellery thing hanging on the wall. It came with a mirror. I never look in it. There's a pretend mirror on the wall in the bathroom. It's like a rose or something. And that's so I can see... I'm brushing my teeth properly. That's it. We don't have a mirror anywhere else. I can't imagine having mirrors all around the house. And she just loves it. So she can gaze at herself every time. We got it in our house. At the store, it just looked huge. I think it's called the Gilded 
mirror and it's um i think 90 inches tall so this will be a perfect spot to do outfits of the day or try on videos and then that Perfect place to do outfits of the day or try on videos when you've got the entire upstairs of the house. Is a money tree. Oh, it would I got it at there. a local plant place here and they planted it just in the black pot for me. I might change that out one day, but I kind of like it. And then you guys remember my horse and then the tray I got from Home Goods. And then this is the candle. I got it from Amazon and it's Tracy's favorite. Is it? So really happy the way this all came together because I have a pretty, my tiger reflection in the mirror. I love the table, that it's simple and just, like just love you. it. And have I shown you guys? I have a little bit, I think. This is the sofa. So this is the deepest one. The color is nickel and oh gosh. Will, I didn't see you there. Okay. I'm gonna avoid Will. He is laying on the couch, but this is the Restoration Hardware Cloud Sofa. It's the deep one with down, and then this is the Waterfall Coffee Table. We got to go with it. Here, just cover up your face or your head. That is our old coffee table that we are going to just put in storage and save for Brooke. You guys have seen our fireplace and Cover so loving the sofa we think the color it couldn't be better and that poor child he hasn't even got the telly on because he heard her coming down what the hell what sort of a life is that and why can't she film with him there and just not show his head Fuck's sake. and it goes really well let me show you it goes well with is that sassy or bubba this thing's an oven mummy look see this thing about my up the, the mouth that it cooks food are we ever going to get food out of that thing it's a magic door you open it and food comes out it's amazing with like the veining of the countertop we might when we get rid of that coffee table we might move the couch further up to the tv then that's Brooke's room, that's Will's room, and a bathroom, and John's study. This is going to be crazy. This is just how it happens. Monday, tomorrow, at 10 o'clock, they will be here to work on both of my closets, kind of install the custom closets. So John has to take out the railing. John has to, does he? Why can't you do it? Okay, so first that meant I had to take everything out of both closets. He has to remove the railing and then he has to putty the holes and paint before they come in tomorrow. So I wanted to show you our new- Oh, she was pissed having to take her stuff out of the closets, wasn't she? She just imagined someone's gonna come in and go, poof, you know, like, what's her face? In Cinderella, fairy godmother, nice little star wand, bing, everything's done. Fucking woman. New, I don't know, they're called, I think, bachelor's chest, but they're much, much, much bigger than the nightstands that we had. I love them. I am going to put my sunglasses in there. Oh, yeah. And then, of course, John's got the exact one. Oh, I had to get him a matching one. Waste of money, I could have bought another three pair of sunglasses with what I spent on that, but hey ho. So you were going to put your sunglasses in that, but then you decided to have that big monstrosity inside the front door with all your sunglasses in. Because that's what Sheila did. And that's what you, you wanted. can see all of my stuff. John, where are you? All of my stuff on John's side of the room. What you doing? Putty. Putty. Okay. There's my Schutz boots. I think I'm going to have to get black ones this year. But let me show you these closets so that when they are done, you'll know what I started with. There's my hunk of burning love over there. Okay. 
And then, you know me, I do not like any handbags to be on the floor. So all my handbags are off the floor. These. Oh, funny how they were thrown on the floor when you had your rolling rack and you were talking about bags you were getting rid of. Are Chanel, my little, <gasps> Chanel and Chanel. Chanel, Nene. <laughs> Feed me. So, the Chanel bags, and I think this is the Balenciaga family. I think. Shows how much interest she gives her purchases after she's purchased them. And then shoes everywhere. Wow. And then here are some more bags and shoes. Right there. Another mirror. This was on that other wall, but we moved it over here. I think I'm gonna like it better over here. Another mirror. Okay, another nothing mirror. new in the bathroom, really. That's, the only new stuff is right there. That's new makeup that I'm trying. Right, Broke look at, or something. sorry. Look in at the bathroom, how really. space she has there for all her stuff. And yet she wants that stupid big white bowl on top of the worktop to throw shit in when she could just have a top drawer that she throws shit in that's all lisa's and then john's is over here in the corner and i bet she she uses that for doing her hair i think that's the only new stuff is right there that's new makeup that i'm trying yes and so we've got everything crammed in john's closet for now and then this is my biggest closet and the main one as far as Chanel baby I see you but he's going to, have to take all this down and I think my shoes are supposed to go in the other one like shoe racks and this one has the shelves and the drawers it's kind of going to be like a built-in dresser to go in here yes 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 you think I'm talking to you yeah some of my favorite shoes that i never wear i know and then some robes weights tennis shoes favorite shoes i never wear so is that everything i think so I'm trying to think if we got anything else but i think that's it So I hope you guys enjoyed this. There's my ice crushed ice maker. And I'm gonna oh my leave my it my off my in my here, my which my I think is just so pretty. And I will see you soon. Oh, look at that. Sorry, it's because it's on. Watch later and it automatically goes to the next one and I keep turning that thing off. And yeah, it still keeps doing it. Anywho, if you got this far with me, thank you very much. And I will catch you in the next one.